Hello there, welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name's Sierra and today I'm gonna talk to you about how to iron on a koozie. Now these are your favorite drink koozies. So they're just insulated can koozies. Some cups fit in them too, but these are meant for the regular size 12 ounce cans. And um, I'm gonna show you how to heat press them so that you don't melt them. Oh, like this one, like I did with this guy. <laughs> it's supposed to be this thick and it's this thick. So lesson learned and I'm going to show you how to do it so that you don't make pancake out of your koozie. Koozies are awesome because they are a very inexpensive project to get you going. Um, it's a very good project for beginners. It teaches you a lot of different things and um, gives you a lot of really fun ideas that you can put on shirts later on like no drama llama. Devlin can see that on a shirt, right? <laughs> Anyways, but it's a, they're inexpensive, they're really easy to do, and you kind of can't screw them up other than melting them. And they're super inexpensive to do. So, definitely recommend for a beginner project. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing lots of these beginner projects to show you how to get more comfortable with your Cricut machine, your heat press, and all of the vinyl that you can possibly think of. Yeah, I have a problem. Anyways, so yeah, back to the subject of the day, which is can koozies and how not to melt them. <laughs> so first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have all of the necessary tools, supplies, whatever you wanna call them. And that will include some blank koozies. Oh no, I lost Baby Yoda. Can koozies, I have a whole box of them down there. And this is my blank. I'm gonna do a two-sided koozie, because why not, right? So um, you wanna make sure that you have your koozie, that you have your decals, and I'm missing one of my decals, there it is. Got my little decal here. And I have these Teflon sheets that I cut up from my big Teflon sheets from these guys. Um, I just cut little pieces off and um, I'm gonna wipe this to make sure it doesn't bleed out of my koozie, but I just cut off little squares to put right on top of it so that I don't melt the vinyl when I layer it. Um, I didn't like using the big one because it just kept sliding off and then it kind of ended up making some of my decals slide off or to the side or whatever, so it really screwed up my process and made me really thrown off. So to avoid that, I just cut one of them up. I don't need three. And if I need another one, then I'll just buy some more. But this works really well for more than just the koozies I found out. You can use it on headbands. You can use it on hats, shoes, whatever else you may be pressing in your life. So little snippets of Teflon protector. Next, you want to make sure that you have your heat press and your heat press is preheated to 250. Now, this is where some people will say, oh my God, 250, you're only supposed to do 210. Well, folks, 210 didn't work that well for me. That's how I melted the first koozie. So 250, no more than 10 to 15 seconds at a time. That's how it's going to go. Heat press is preheated, is ready to roll. Got my koozie, got my vinyl, got my decal. We're ready to go. I'm a Teflon sheet too, we got that. So what I do like to do is I like to preheat my koozie. I preheat everything that I make in general anyways, but we preheat the koozies too. So again, 250, no more than 15, 20 seconds. I use my watch as a timer. Um, you can obviously change your heat press to 15 to 20 seconds if you want, but just to give it a light, nice little warm up, we're gonna place it under there, press it down, let it go, count to 20, sing happy birthday. It's a good thing you can do, happy birthday. You can sing that in your head, hum it, or just, you know, belt it as loud as you want, whatever works for you. Sounds about right. Right, so koozie is pre-pressed, nice and warm. So we're gonna go ahead and set that down and get my first decal on there. Let's see, I literally like, I didn't even measure this. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just eyeballing it when, <laughs> I was eyeballing it when I went to make it. <laughs> 
and it's literally like right on the edges. Talk about the skin of your teeth, huh? Yeah, I totally skin on my teeth that one. Teeth that one. Gonna bring it over just a smidgen more. Barely, like barely. I don't think I could get any closer with it. All right, so we're just gonna put that right on over and press, 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 press. I'm gonna use the timer, but it's set to 30. I'll just cut it off at 15. Now, I did do a Cricut Joy HTV koozie and I had a really hard time with it. Um, the Cricut Joy HTV did not want to adhere to the koozie. Don't know why, I don't know. I called Cricut support and they're working on figuring out why it didn't want to work. So for now, I stick to my ever loving sizer. I love Sizer, I always have. I haven't really had any issues with it. The only issue I've ever had with Sizer is with the Sizer stretch. And I'm not the only one. I've heard of lots of people having issues with it. Um, you don't have to run this through two times. I'm just doing it because that S is like literally right on the edge. So I wanna make sure that I get it in there really well. All right. And again, you may notice me using very limited range on the shoulder. I did have surgery, um, but I can't go six months without crafting. I'd lose my brain. So I'm just very limiting myself and making sure that I don't screw it up even more. So if you see me doing that, that's why. Or if it looks like I got mauled by a dog. That's why I didn't get mauled by a dog. Though that'd be a cool story. <laughs> Way cooler than uh, what actually happened. All right, so we've got Baby Yoda. And again, literally skin of my teeth, like barely made it. Look at this, look at this. But he's so cute. I just love baby Yoda. He's adorable, right? Don't worry, I'm about to make him even more adorable. All right, so we've got him aligned there where he's going to fit, hopefully. He will fit. Fit you will, fit you must, because I'm not making you again. That's a lie, I'm totally gonna make more of him. He's so cute. The image is from a, it's my secret dealer. Just kidding, she's on Etsy. Um, you can go on and find just Baby Yoda and they'll pop up everywhere. They're like two or three bucks, some go up to five and six dollars. Have at it, there's tons of them. Now, be careful though, because copyright, it'll get ya. So that one was like maybe five seconds and that's because I have to layer it. Um, so I didn't want to overdo it. So we've got Baby Yoda and I gave Baby Yoda a special treat. <laughs> I'm a little overexcited about it. You'll see why in a minute. I'm gonna put it sideways. Sideways, like you would be standing if you were, if you had what Baby Yoda has. Okay, in there. Again, we're gonna check the pressure. Just with the pressure, you want it to be where it stops, but not where it's like smushing it down, and that's because you don't want to smush your koozie. All right, so it's almost done. It doesn't have that mask on it, so I wanna make sure that uh, that vinyl does okay. But I'm also layering holographic vinyl, so I gotta make sure that sticks. All right, because I layered it, I want to make sure that it's stuck. I can't wait for you guys to see this. I'm so excited. Well, though the wording probably gave it away. Five o'clock somewhere it is. Summer's coming, we're going on a beach vacation, so I gotta make some fun koozies. No Drama Llama is for a select group of ladies that I'm really good friends with. So we made those as our... And I kind of flattened them, but that's okay. Look at how cute. Baby Yoda has a margarita. Baby Yoda has a margarita. 
five o'clock somewhere. Yeah, um, layering them makes them a little thinner than if they weren't layered. Um, go ahead and turn this off. But you can see the difference a little bit. But nowhere near as flat as uh, <laughs> the other one that I definitely melted. But it's on there, it's adhered, it is nice and secure, it's not going anywhere, and he's so adorable. Anyways, people, that, my friends, is how you iron on or heat press these koozies without totally melting them. Now, like I said, I did kind of melt this one, but that's because I layered it. If I wouldn't have layered it, I wouldn't have melted it a little bit, but it's not gonna deter the quality of it any. Your beverage will still be cold, promise. That's how you heat press koozies. Hope you enjoyed this. I know you did. We'll see you next time. Remember, subscribe. Peace out.